Hello everyone! How are you? It's K. So this is the 14th of September 2022 on Wednesday. I'm recording this video. So um, today I would like to talk about some pairs that are about to break the resistance and support. And uh, in, uh, based on Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, five lines, uh, we know which one is likely to break the major resistance support in which one may not. Um, it's very simple but powerful um, way to look at the markets for the breakouts by Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So hopefully you enjoy the video until the end of today's uh, video session. So let me switch the screen. Okay, so um, yeah, so um, we have actually um, I have actually, um, you know, screened the chart already and selected some pairs that are about to break the resistance, resistance and support. And what I mean by the resistance support is the major ones. So I'm not really looking at the five minute or the lower time frames, but uh, I'm actually focusing on the higher time frames, daily time frame, basically, because Ichimoku Kinko works best on the daily time frame. So, I have selected these pairs. So the ones that I, that I put purple are the ones I selected. So first, I will check the Euro Swiss franc. And this time right now, I'm recording is at um, 5 or 7 p.m. in Dubai time, which is uh, 1 or 5 in UTC time zone. So you can find your time zone on this clock. So this is what about one hour before I upload this video? So right now this is a uh, Euro Swiss franc. Euro Swiss franc is uh, has been bearish and it's going down to support. But this one most likely won't break the support because Kijun Sen is um, below the Tenkan Sen. Uh, in other words, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen dead cross is not happening yet. So in this case, the market. I mean the sellers and buyers are still 50-50 or uh, I would say the short-term buyers are still dominant over sellers so because of this Tenkan Kijun Sen location so that's why in this case I don't expect the market breaks the support however if it does if it does break the support then I, I will follow but in this case it may not in terms of the probability most likely the market keeps ranging is my idea. So next one is the USDJPY. USDJPY is about to break the resistance also on uh, 144.96 and Tenkan Sen is pointing up. So today is bearish, but since Tenkan Sen is pointing up, in the short term it's bullish. So that means as long as market is above the Tenkan Sen on the daily time frame, most likely it breaks, but if the, if the market breaks Tenkan Sen, then what may happen is that the market retraces back to the Kijun Sen. And Kijun Sen angle is now flat, so that means the market may retrace. So again, this one is after the gold cross of Tenkan Kijun Sen um, um, long ago, so I'm still expecting the market breaks the resistance. So once it does, I will come back and look for an entry timing to buy. So probability wise, uh, more than Euro Swiss franc, I think USDJPY is likely to break the resistance. So next one I want to check is the USCCAD. So USCCAD is also near the resistance and I put up a row like this. Um, and that is because again Tenkan Sen is above the Kijun Sen. Uh, at the top and um, so so far the market has been above the key, above the Tenkan Sen so this is too bullish but uh, once the market breaks the Tenkan Sen then it may be traced back to Kijun Sen so if you compare this uh, USCCAD uh, with the uh, USCJPY USCCAD is more be range than USCJPY because of the angle of Tenkan Sen and also the single span A. 
Um, Tenkan Sen and Senko Spanner Air are bullish on the USJPY, but USCAD, these are flat. So this is more of the range. So, so far, I think the USJPY looks the highest probability for the breakout of the resistance. So next one I want to compare is the pound Swiss franc. So pound Swiss franc already broke the support. But one thing I just wanted to mention is that before the breakout, before the breakout, which is on this candlestick, you see Kumo Senko Span BA down, Kijun Sen down, and Chikou Span below candles. Also, price has been resisted by the Tenkan Sen. So in this case, there is a um, previous support level on 1.1114 and I would expect the market breaks that support level because of these angles on these 5 lines of Ichimoku. And then it did break afterwards. And today is a retracement, but um, since Kumo down, Kijun Sen down still, and the price below the Tenkan Sen, this is bearish. So I expect this downtrend will be continuous as long as the market is below the Tenkan Sen. So so far, pound Swiss franc looks the, looks the best before because it bro already broke the support on the daily. So next one I will look at is the AUD USD. So ADUSD is near the support, and um, price is below the Tenkan Sen, so this is bearish, and it may break the support. Kijun Sen is just after the Kumo, and this is also important. When you still see the Kijun Sen in the Kumo, the market may range or retrace, but Kijun Sen being out of the Kumo means that this is now bearish in the midterm, so this one also may break the support. And then AUDC is franc, it already broke the support, but uh, before the market breaks it, hold on, let me just uh, uh, go back two days ago. In here, um, the Kumo was flat, and Kijun Sen was flat and in the Kumo, so we couldn't expect, we could not expect the market breaks. And on the next day, it just spiked down and broke. So in this case, we can, we couldn't, I couldn't really tell whether the market breaks or not based on this Ichimoku technical confirmation. So in this case, I simply wait for the breakout and start to look for the selling edge. However, I won't sell because the Kumo was very thin. Whenever you see the thin Kumo like this, the market also uh, most likely retrace. In this case, the market retraces may retrace back to the previous support level, which is 0 0.6510, and then go down afterwards. So today, it's in the doji candlestick, but again, Kumo is still f very thin. Kumo is very thin, and also Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen are very close, and they're pointing down, so that means this is oversold market. So I would wait until the Kumo's thickness to happen, and then start to look for the selling edge. So ADC franc is not the best time to sell for me. Yeah, especially we have the doji so far, so if this end up with doji, then the market may reverse also. So this week may not the best timing to sell on the ADC franc. And the next one I want to check is the CADC franc. Uh, this pair slightly broke the support, and then now it's forming the doji. And if you look at the Kumo shape, it's bearish. Because of this slight breakout, it made the Senko Span B down, A is also down, and Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen both bearish, and Chikou Span below candles. So in this situation, what I will be waiting for is that uh, uh, if the candlestick closes below the support of 0.7290. And this is where we have to be patient, because, you know, um, before the market closes, if you just enter the trade, and by now the market retrace back, and right now it's above the support, and if the market ends up with like this by the end of the today, then tomorrow the traders may see this doji candle, and the buyers may come in, 
and the market may be traced back to the daily Kijun Sen. But if the candlestick closes below the support, then the traders may see, see that uh, tomorrow and they see that this as a valid breakout and continuously downtrend. So sellers may follow and buyers keep losing and the market most likely keeps going down. So um, in this case, again, Kumo is down, Senko Span AB down, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen down, Chikou Span below candles, but this is where I wait for the candlestick close. So I'm not gonna enter today, but come back tomorrow in this situation. And the last example I wanted to mention today is the Swiss franc JPY. Swiss franc JPY once broke the resistance yesterday, but today it's retracing back. It's a heavy retracement today. However, still Kumo up, Kijun Sen up, Tenkan Sen is up, and Chikou Span above candles. So as long as Kumo up, Kijun Sen up, and price above the Tenkan Sen, that means this is continuously uptrend on the daily. But again, no markets keeps going up or keeps going down. It has to retrace and consolidate in order for the market to keep going towards that major direction. And today, the retracement is happening. But uh, and when I see this big doji, big sorry, uh, bearish candle like this, then most likely today or tomorrow, there will be an inside bar. In fact, this is now outside uh, of the previous candlestick. So I would wait for the outside bar breakout or the future inside bar breakout, which is uh, 150.69. I wait for the breakout and then look for the buying edge afterwards. So in this case, this is an example where you cannot really buy just because Kumo up and Kijun Sen up. Right now, today is bearish. So according to my strategy, like one hour, it's downtrend. It's going down, it broke the Kumo and it's bearish. So you will never buy in this case. In the short term, you can follow the, buy, follow the downtrend so you can sell as long as it goes. But again, since the date is bullish, this downtrend today may stop within today or tomorrow, and then the market may go up afterwards. So in this case, I don't usually follow the one hour because uh, it just broke the Kumo and it may retrace back again. So I simply wait until one hour turned bullish according to the daily direction and then prepare to buy. So these are some examples of where you, um, what to check and what to wait for uh, based on the resistance and support uh, by the five lines of Ichimoku. And I thought this is an uh, important topic to talk about and that's why I just wanted to take a quick video about that. So today, no trades for myself because they are all retracing and ranging. And also today, I actually went to the cafe in the morning at 10 a.m. and uh, I was going to check charts and uh, work on my projects. But um, I was actually went going to, uh, I actually went to the cafe with my wife and as it turned out, we talked like five hours until 3 p.m. So I was I couldn't check charts today. But uh, for me, you know, um, communication with my family is more important than checking charts. So I decided simply not to check charts. And because we talked about something important uh, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, how to move on our life like uh, what to do in the future, in the new future, in the future plans, and uh, some places to visit. We're discussing sometime uh, this year and the next year. And also, um, we're thinking to change, change the car. So we're kind of deciding what, what kind of cars we're getting on the next one. So these topics, because I have been uh, working, I have been checking charts and working, you know, almost all day, every day recently, um, I hardly slept these days and uh, I didn't find some time to communicate with my wife. So today I thought it's perfect timing to talk with my wife 
and decided not to check charts. But these things happen in you know in anyone's life. So yeah, always you know uh, think about priority first. You know, screening charts is not the should not be the priority because you may lose something more important. So for me, uh, at least for today, um, I'm happy to be able to talk with my wife. And so I left the cafe at 3 p.m. and I had the meeting 101 at uh, 4 p.m. And then here I am. This is at 5 p.m. in Dubai time. And then after this at 6 p.m. I have another appointment. So most likely I will just leave church and come back tomorrow. But this is like my uh, routine. I mean, this is a day for me today. So uh, yeah, um, trader, I, I claim myself, I, I say myself as a full-time trader because this is my main, sub, main source of income. But it doesn't mean that I, I trade every day and uh, because and yeah, and also I value some other more time than simply checking charts every day. Because markets are open 24 hours every day with or without me, they are moving. So um, I can just come back whenever I can. And if I have some chance, I simply take it. Otherwise, I will stay away is my mindset. Before, I was always looking for the entry opportunities every day to make profits, but now I simply don't. But then I start to relax more and I like this style a lot. Otherwise, I won't be able to do this kind of videos or lives on my YouTube channel if I'm too focused and if I spend too much time on screening charts every day so that uh, you know I won't be able to see your comments and won't be able to yeah communicate with everyone like this so yeah sorry it was a bit off topic but uh yeah i would just wanted to share my little thoughts about what happens today so anyways um looks like the markets are some markets broke the support resistance and some are about to break so in this case I would just wait for the more clear breakout. Like pound Swiss franc again is breaking, but uh, today is retracement. So yeah, I might wait for uh, to, uh, until next day to make sure that the market still goes down continuously. And the AUD USD is near the support. AUD Swiss franc is has broken the support, but now again this is overshoot. So I wait for the retracement to happen. Yeah, so like this, I just simply, today looks not a good time to trade. And quickly checking some other markets like XAUUSD Gold has been ranging, so no trades for myself. And WTI is also ranging, retrace back to Kijun Sen now. So no direction, no trace. And quickly checking the Bitcoin, BTC USD is also ranging today. After the big retracement, big downtrend uh, yesterday due to the US news, uh, now today is ranging. But overall, I think the bit Bitcoin is downtrend. So I think this is not the perfect time to buy it. But anyways, these are my impressions. So yeah, um, I guess I will just end the video and get ready for the next meeting. But again, thank you so much for your uh, support as always on what I do on my YouTube channel and my best wishes on your success also in becoming a non-losing trader through my YouTube channel. So I hope you have a great day and see you in the next one. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now, everyone. Matane. Thanks so much.